Reuters, U.S. stock futures rose on Friday, set to build on a rally that has lasted five straight days as investors shrug off inflation fears and focus on growth in the economy and corporate profits. At 6.56 a.m. ET, Dow E-minis 1 YMC1 were up 40 points, S&P 500 E-minis ESC1 had added 6.25 points and the Nasdaq 100 E-minis NQC1 rose 19.5 points. The benchmark S&P 500 indexes SPX 4.3% gain since Monday has put it on track for its best week since January 2013. Its pullback from last week's sell-off has been accompanied by low volatility, encouraging economic data and corporate reports. Shares of Coca-Cola, KON, rose 1.85% in pre-market trading after the soda maker a Euro trademark S cost-saving initiatives helped its beat fourth-quarter profit estimates. Deer and CO, DEN, rose 1.44% after the tractor maker reported higher quarterly sales. Beside recent strong quarterly earnings, investor sentiment has also got a boost from expectations that more growth is still to come due to newly implemented corporate tax cuts and plans to increase infrastructure spending. Nearly 77% of the S&P 500 companies that reported fourth quarter results so far have topped earnings estimate, above the 72% beat rate in the past four quarters. Many companies have boosted their forecasts and analysts now expect S&P 500 companies to increase their earnings per share in 2018 by 18.9%, according to Thomson Reuters I-B-E-S. After falling by more than 10% from their record highs on January 26 on concerns about rising borrowing costs due to a pickup in inflation, the S&P has gained 5.8% since last Friday. Some traders have said the market was also reassured by a decline in the CBOE volatility index. VIX, a measure of implied near term volatility on the S&P 500, also known as Wall Street a Euro trademark SA Euro E fear gauge a Euro. On Thursday, the VIX dropped below 20 points for the first time since hitting a two and a half year high of 50.3 last week while yields on the benchmark U.S. 10-year Treasury bonds hit a more than four-year high of 2.9440%. But, the rising yields this week has not pressured stocks like they did last week. The 10-year yield slipped to 2.8859% on Friday. Economic data on TAP includes housing starts data for January, which is forecast to have increased to a seasonally adjusted 1.234 million units. The report is due at 8.30 a.m. ET. Later in the day, a preliminary reading of the University of Michigan a Euro trademark S Consumer Sentiment Index is expected to show a slight fall to 95.5 in February from 95.7 in the previous month.